All right, welcome back. Before we get started, I need to apologize. A few days ago, it was my buddy Logan's birthday, and I did not give him a shout out before the quiz. What makes it worse is his birthday was on March 3rd, the day we did the March birthday trivia quiz. So I double failed. But to make up for it, I'm putting a link above to his YouTube channel, and I'm going to link at the end of the video to his YouTube channel. Good luck on today's quiz. Question 1. On July 28, 1945, a B-25 Mitchell bomber of the United States Army Air Forces crashed into what New York City building while flying in thick fog, resulting in the death of 14 people? The answer is the Empire State Building. Question number two. Well suited to the conditions of the Venetian Lagoon, what is the name of the traditional flat-bottom Venetian rowing boat typically propelled by a single person who uses an oar that also acts as the rudder? The name of that boat is a gondola. Question number three. The creator of Fraggle Rock and the director of The Dark Crystal and Labyrinth, Jim Henson, coined what word from a combination of puppet and marionette? He was also the creator of The Muppets. Question number four. Alluded to in a Lewis Carroll story, what is the English idiomatic phrase derived from the observed antics said to only occur in the spring breeding season of the European rabbit? That phrase is mad as a March hare. Question number five. Known originally for their manufacturing of motorcycles, what Japanese company now has several models of four-wheeled vehicles like the CRV, the HRV, and the FIT? The answer is Honda. Question number six. A military tactic calculated to create psychological shock and resultant disorganization in enemy forces through the employment of surprise, speed, and superiority in material or firepower. What is the German word for lightning war? That word is Blitzkrieg. Question number seven. He was the third American in space and the first American to orbit the Earth, circling it three times in 1962. What former astronaut had the right stuff to also win two Senate terms? The answer is John Glenn. Question number eight. Taking its name from the Greek words meaning right and belief, what is the term given for the Eastern Rite of Christianity or the oldest branch of Judaism? That term is orthodox. Question number nine. 
A famous command attributed to William Prescott, Bunker Hill Patriots were ordered not to fire before seeing the sclera of their enemies. Also known as what? The sclera is the whites of their eyes. Question number 10. Its current name was coined by Eddie Cantor, but what United States nonprofit organization that works to improve the health of mothers and babies was founded by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt in 1938 as the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis to Combat Polio? The answer is the March of Dimes. Question number 11. Like Dwight Schrute in NBC's The Office, the traditional Pennsylvania Dutch settlers came from what European country? The Pennsylvania Dutch came from Germany. Question number 12. What is the name of either a flat bottom boat propelled by a pole, popular in places like Cambridge, England, or a common fourth down play in American football? The answer is a punt. Question 13. The radially symmetrical contraction and relaxation of muscles that propagates in a wave down a tube, peristalsis, is why humans can do what even if they are standing on their head? That's basically a complicated definition of swallowing. Question 14. In modern usage, the word is used as an inclusive term for all folding practices, regardless of their culture of origin. But what word traditionally designates the art of paper folding often associated with Japanese culture? The answer is origami. Question 15. A ballet composed by Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky in 1875 and 76, what is the name of the foul aquatic ballet that, despite its initial failure, is now one of the most popular ballets of all time? The foul aquatic ballet is Swan Lake. Question 16. A popular 19th century British fairy tale, what was the name of the little girl who couldn't bear certain bowls, beds, or chairs? The answer is Goldilocks. Question 17. What was the name of the German economist who inspired the Russians to revolt with the famous line urging, Workers of the world unite? The answer is Karl Marx. Question 18. 
Although he was eventually killed by a gunshot wound, one of Abraham Lincoln's lifelong stances was that what item was stronger than the bullet? He famously said the ballot was stronger than the bullet. Question 19. A historical American flag with a yellow field depicting a timber rattlesnake coiled and ready to strike. What are the words of warning beneath the rattlesnake on the Gadsden flag? The answer is don't tread on me. Question 20. What is the word that is used for not just the name of a small boat used to move big boats, but also to describe how it moves those big boats? It moves those big boats by tugging, and it is called a tug boat. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trivia. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the other day I forgot to say happy birthday to my friend Logan. Because it was on the birthday trivia quiz, it's even worse. So I'm posting a link to one of his YouTube videos. Now, you may have already seen this because it did go viral a little bit but it got taken down because it was slightly inappropriate so he's reposted it edited just enough to where YouTube won't take it down although it is still slightly PG-13 so don't watch it with kids in the room but if you'd like to see my buddy Logan whose birthday was March 3rd happy birthday Logan present a gift to his wife on Valentine's Day the link will be at the end of this video following the tiebreaker question I think that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker. Harry Truman said it's a recession when your neighbor loses his job. But what is the sign that lets you know that it is a depression? The answer is it's a recession when your neighbor loses his job and it's a depression when you lose your job. Thank you for watching today. Right here should be the link to Logan's clip. Like I said, PG-13, so be warned. <laughs> but it's pretty funny. <laughs>